Shana with 525 Realty Group, and we're on episode two of our lifestyle vlog, and we are at Edmond Parks and Recreation, and we are here with Jared Prince. You are the coordinator for Edmond Parks and Recreation. Um, a lot of times when you hear Parks and Recreation, you think the outdoor parks, the playgrounds, the ball fields, but Edmond Parks and Recreation offers an entire program of activities to do with all ages, whether you're young, an adult, old or a family. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today. So Ed, or Jared, tell me what you do. Sure, so I'm the Parks and Recreation Program Coordinator. So we put out a program guide three times a year during four month pieces. Um, and my specific job is to coordinate and write that book. So it includes everything from pottery classes that happen in this studio to the crafting classes that happen on the other side of the wall, as well as kayaking classes, guitar lessons, all kinds of stuff. So um, my job in general is to find people that love what they do and convince them to offer a program so that people in the community can uh, experience that, maybe find something they didn't know they would enjoy or get better at something that they love doing. Awesome. Well, what age does this start at? So we have programs that fit every age group of the family, including programs that are meant for the entire family in general. So it's broken up into preschool, which is three to five year olds and youth six to 12. We have a teen section as well as an adult section and then one that's open to the whole family. So the programs range for every member of your family. Very cool. So what is some of the most popular programs that you have? Well, obviously we have a really large pottery studio. Um, our pottery and ceramics uh, teacher, Sherry, is um, really great at what she does and people really connect well with her. So our pottery classes are really popular uh, right now. All of our outdoor adventure series programs um, stay really popular and full because we try to offer those at low cost and have a lot of different options as far as the times and dates go. So uh, the kayaking class is always a favorite. The 3D archery shooting is always a favorite. Um, you know, we've got other classes like the kids in the kitchen class that stays full. So um, it's really kind of all over the place. It depends on what time of year coming out of the winter months. The crafting and pottery classes are most popular. But once it gets warm like it is right now, the outdoor stuff really picks up. Awesome. Well, I'm a little partial to the kids in the kitchen class. You'll find out why later. But um, tell us about the um, upcoming activity that you have with camping. Sure. So we do it a series called the Outdoor Adventure Series, like I was just mentioning, that has a bunch of programs associated to it. But we also do family campouts. Those happen in the spring. Uh, this year we're just doing one, but it is next month. So anytime we have a family campout set up, um, you sign up for at least, a, I mean, a, a max is a family of six, but when you sign up, we'll set up your tent for you. You'll show up, we'll cook dinner that Saturday night. There's breakfast included the next morning. And then all of the activities that are part of the Outdoor Adventure Series are also available while you're on the family camp out. So there'll be mountain bikes and kayaks, fire building, uh, s'mores, and a hike, uh, a bunch of trails are associated with it, so. I'm ready for some s'mores and campfire. So what are the dates for that? So that one just opened for registration yesterday and the dates for that are gonna be April 17th and 18th. So it's a Saturday and Sunday next month. Very cool. Now, tell us about a couple of the pottery classes that you have going on. You said there was a, um, a paint and... Yeah, it's called Waffle Studio. Waffle Studio. Yeah, that's it. another yeah. Uh, great class we just started. As far as uh, the pottery classes go um, in this room, there's hand building classes where there are specific projects. Um, last night was a toad house. So it's like a little house you, maybe that they built for toads, I guess, on your front <laughs> porch. But it's kind of just a small little birdhouse that sits on the ground. But uh, there are also wheel throwing classes. So if you, you know, want to watch movies like Ghost and then get inspired to come in and get on one of our wheels with uh, someone else or just come in and t take a class for yourself. Uh, there's also um, BIS classes. That's what all of these pieces along the wall are. So you can come in and just pick out a piece uh, and glaze it and paint it and then we fire it. Um, the Waffle Studio class you're talking about is a new one for this spring. It's our version of a wine and palate type class, but we offer waffles instead of wine and it's in the morning on Saturday morning. So it's a little bit more of kind of an escape from stuff and kind of to relax on a Saturday morning. Uh, they're from 9 to 11 o'clock and the uh, waffles come from Evoke. So it's a local oh, nice. uh, waffle and then 
uh, the painting classes are taught by one of our instructors. Okay. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm going to have to personally check that out soon. So we're going to kind of wrap things up here. I want to know just a couple of your favorite things to do around the Metro. Give me your top three. Uh, personally, I spend a lot of time outside. Um, right now, I'm, it kind of rotates as far as what activity I do. Right now, I'm really into mountain biking. So I spend a lot of time on our trails out at Arcadia. Um, my wife and I really enjoy the summertime in the city. So we'll spend time going to... Uh, the Paseo and Plaza District for dinner or going to a, a ball game down at the Dodgers Stadium. So uh, obviously we didn't get to do a lot in 2020. So looking forward to some of that stuff, hopefully open up this summer. Well, that sounds like a plan for the summer to get out and explore the city again. So I am so excited to have Jared today. Thank you so much for joining me on my second episode. Um, again, I'm Shannon with 525 Real Estate Group and I love to be your local realtor. And thank you again, Jared. Thanks for having me.